Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Steelers versus Texans NFL preseason week one matchup on Friday, August 9th, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Just head on over to PickDogs.com, click on the premium picks tab. I've also provided a link in the description. It says get my best bets here. Make it nice and easy. Of course, if you have if you make big bets, like $1,000 or more per game, you have a big bankroll, like $10,000 or more, looking for VIP-style packages, we offer those as well. You just got to text the number on the screen. We know that's not for everyone, but our regular premium picks at the website, they certainly are, so check those out. But let's get to this one. It is the Steelers taking on the Texans. Of course, the Texans played last week against the Chicago Bears in the Hall of Fame game. That, rain, that game was shortened by rain, so we all got no action on it, unless you bet quarters or halves or something on the thing, which is crazy in preseason. I mean, even betting on the preseason games, I always say, you know, tread lightly. And if you see a really good angle, jump in there on it, because there definitely is money to be made if you can find it. But like I said, you know, you're not really sure exactly who's going to be playing in these games. So it is a better spot to tread lightly. I'd say, you know, normally I'm super aggressive with my sports betting. You guys have seen me for the last 17 years. You know that, right? But the thing is, is that when it comes to these preseason games, Ah, oh, man, I am not aggressive. I'm about as timid as it gets. And uh, I don't know, uh, you know, cer certainly uh, I don't bet a lot of these NFL preseason games. Do the best I can and see if I can find an angle. The Texans, of course, the big angle is that we saw them last week, that they played. So they already have some, some of the rust off of them and seeing that game action. But you have to remember that a lot of these NFL teams also play these scrimmages against these same teams or other teams um, over the over the week. So, you know, it's not like the first time they're seeing uh, guys in other uniforms. When we look at the Texans, you know, Davis Mills played decently and they had the lead with him in there. Case Keenum saw limited action for the Texans. And Tim Boyle was the quarterback at the end of the game when the Bears took the lead and really was inefficient and inept at moving the football. Pretty much the story of his career. The Texans defense was absolutely shredded by... Uh, by Rippon, by Brett Rippon. So, I mean, that's a, a little bit of the problem here is that when you have a, a depth on defense that was shredded by Rippon, probably a pretty tough week of practice for D'Amico Ryan's team, a team that's known for their, you know, their defense, a coach that's known for his defense, especially. When you look at the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, all the story here is about Justin Fields and Russell Wilson battling it out for that number one quarterback position. But there's also battles up and down the roster as John Reese Plumley and Kyle Allen will try and make this squad. Kyle Allen, we've seen him in NFL action before. John Reese Plumley, the rookie out of Central Florida. He looked really good at Central Florida and certainly, you know, is tough as nails. Um, you know, just one of those type of guys that uh, hard nosed football player that a lot of teams, you know, like that. Of course, Kyle Allen, um, we saw him at Arkansas, or, you know, several years ago. When we look at the Steelers, you know, generally Mike Tomlin is the type of coach that likes to, uh, you know, just kind of get through the preseason without really any major injuries. But what we saw last year in preseason, the Steelers went a perfect 3-0 and in preseason, while the Texans were 2-1 and in preseason a year ago. You know, so certainly, um, you know, Ryan's cared, cared about it maybe a little bit more because the Texans last year were a team that were kind of coming out of nowhere, drafting, you know, very high in the draft. And, you know, while, you know, this year coming at it with a team with actually pretty high expectations, I just think the Steelers have a lot more position battles out there and actually have a little bit more depth than what I, I see there from the, from the Texans. And I see Tim Boyle out there on the field like I did last week. Uh, probably a good opportunity to go the other way. I'm going to roll with the Steelers in this one, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.